Hi there, my name is Will and I'm going to show you how you can use inputs to make your flows more dynamic and reusable in Kestra. Now in this example I've got here, we're using an input which you can think of it like a constant value that you might have in a programming language. This is something that won't typically change and you set it right at the top of your flow. So it's super easy to reuse but it's also easy to understand what it's doing. In this case, we've got an input called user, and that is of the type string, and Kestra supports loads of different types uh, in this, but the most common being like string, integers, and booleans. We're gonna use a string here, and we can set the default value to Rick Ashley, and then we've got a simple log task here that's going to just use our input to print a message to the logs. Now, when we do execute, it does actually ask us uh, if we want to change those, if we don't have anything set to default, so maybe in this scenario, you might ask it to give you might want a URL, for example, to make a request. Uh, you can have that like that, but we're gonna continue with it. And as you can see, it's gonna run no problem and get us the desired response. Now we can do another example as well. Let me just get that up. Uh, and what we can get here is we've got a very simple uh, task here that's going to make a HTTP request. And instead of putting the URL in here, we can make an input, make this really clear as to what it is. We can add a description if we wanted, but here we can see it's an API URL. So when I execute this, we will hopefully get a 200 status code. And as you can see here, it works as expected. Now, in the next episode, we're going to talk about outputs and how we can get the response from this HTTP request and pass it to future tasks to do really powerful stuff.